Have you ever wondered how to make a chatbot that can talk like a human? Well, you are in luck. In this series, we will unlock the secrets behind using Python and OpenAI to build chatbots that can understand and respond to our questions, making the experience truly interactive and fun. Imagine being able to create intelligent conversational agents for businesses and individuals, helping them automate tasks, enhance customer experiences, and increase efficiency. This presents an exciting opportunity not only to showcase your creativity but also potentially generate income by charging for your chatbot development services. In today's episode, we'll begin with the essentials. I will show you how to get your computer ready for coding, set up OpenAI API key and so on. So make sure you watch the video till the end and let's get started. Alright guys, this is my computer screen and here I have a folder called tutorial1. If I open this folder, as you can see, I have two different folders. One is for front end and the other one is for back end. So let's check out what's inside front end. Inside front end, I have some HTML, CSS and JavaScript based application, a very simple UI so that we can interact with our chatbots. I will share this with you when you open this index.html it will open page like this and you can type anything over here and it is returning a dummy response it does not mean anything so this is just a built in UI which I will share with you so you can practice and move along with us. Secondly we have backend folder which is currently empty there is nothing so we are going to set up things now understand the concept. This front end is only to interact with our system. It means nothing else. Okay. So everything depends on the back end, which means whatever we type here, it will go to the back end and give us some response in return. Okay. First of all, we are going to make sure we are connected to open AI service using Python. I will open this folder using VS code. Once I'm in, I will create a dummy file and call it my chat basics.py. Okay, we have this file over here on the backend. Our first goal is to get connected to OpenAI services, which means we should be able to call OpenAI API. For that, first of all, we need to install some packages. For example, if you open your terminal and write pip, install OpenAI it will install the OpenAI client for you for me it is already installed so we are good to move on okay now we have to go to OpenAI documentation and grab the very basic piece of code if I search for OpenAI documentation if I click the first link and on the left side I can see GPT and here I'm going to click chat completion API and this is the very basic piece of code which we will use. Let me copy this and paste it here. First of all, we need to set up the OpenAI API key. Here I will type openAI.API key equals. I can type it here as a string or I can use the OS module to read my API key from my environment variable. So if I type os.getenv open AI API key. I have to import OS module as well. Okay, so my API key will be read from my environment variable that is called open AI API key. So to grab your open AI API key, log into your open AI account. Once you are logged in to open AI, you can see this uh, icon. If I click it and click view API keys, so these are my API keys. I can create a new one if I click here and if I say my tutorial API key and create secret key. So this is my secret key. I'm going to copy this and either I can paste it over here like this or I can set it on my environment variable. To set your OpenAI API key in your environment variable, just search for environment 
edit the system environment variables if i click here here i can say environment variables and if i click here this window is open and here as you can see open ai api key and this is my api key set up here already so this is how you can do it if you don't have it set up you can press new and as a variable name i will type open ai api key and here i will paste the api key which i just got from open ai but i already have it so i don't need to keep it here so after this tutorial i will remove this newly generated api key so that it is not misused so please don't waste time on using that one okay once our api key is ready now this code should be executed successfully if we have open ai client installed i am going to store the response inside a variable called res and i will print this res and see what happens here i have code runner extension if i click here it will run the code and this is the response from open ai it includes a lots of metadata so let's get rid of it i will i can type res choices zero message content so now it should only print the message the final content let's see what it is okay this is the response from open ai so it means our environment is ready to interact with open ai llm i mean large language models and in this case we are using gpt 3.5 turbo anyway guys i am going to wrap this piece of code inside a function because it is a good practice always to have your codes in written in functions i would say def get response it will take input prompt and if i give it a space if that is equals to one tab okay and now it will return this now okay so this is our function it is ready we have to make one small change i have to remove these two dummy messages and by the way this piece of code it is the standard for how you can call OpenAI GPT 3.5 API. It will be in their documentation, you can find out. Anyway, this is the list of messages and these are the messages that were passed. Let me make some small changes. So if I copy these messages and store it up there inside a message variable. Okay, this is the message array I define and inside this I will say message.append I am going to append this is a user input this is how a user can provide input to gpt 3.5 and in content i will pass the input prompt here you go so now we are ready i also have to pass this message over here and now it should be working for us this is our function ready this function gets input prompt and return you the result so now let's test it out if I call this function res equals get response, hey there, how are you? Let's see what is the response. Let's print the response and see what happens. Here you go. As you can see, we got the response according to our input, which means everything is working fine and our function is also doing well. In next video, we will see how to connect this backend with the front end over here and get responses once we are done with that we will make different kind of chatbots and apply different use cases and so on so guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you do not miss the next video thank you so much for watching guys